Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today it's Wednesday the 23rd and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning, got the dogs taken care of, um, headed out to the hot tub, got that uh, soak in from there, decided I was going to put myself a cigar before it got real hot, kind of start the day off with a nice little break, which is kind of a weird way to do it, but I hate going over to work on the house when it's nice out or less hot out I should put it when I can have a break now because when it's 93 degrees or whatever it's miserable while you're working or sitting in the shade so you might as well enjoy the shade when it's only you know 84 degrees or so so I went ahead had myself a nice little scar got done with that um, called over the insurance agent and basically said hey what would it take to put a citizen insurance on our house um, because the other agent was supposed to text me last night and never did so on and so forth and Basically, he's like, yeah, he goes, oh, so don't take your time at all, yada, yada, yada. We'll go ahead and get that wrote up. Can you be here at 11 o'clock? And I said, absolutely. I can be there at 11 o'clock. So I went ahead and texted my wife and said, hey, this is what I'm doing. And she came back. She said, let me check the email real quick, blah, blah. And at like 10 something this morning, the other agent from another company sent the quotes in. And it was only from citizens also. So at this point, why would I want to write two checks? I can just write one check, one company be done with it and not have to deal with the other crap and deal with everything so pain in the ass so she's like well da, da, da. I said she told me she'd have it to me yesterday by five she told me that multiple times and then didn't even send me an email saying hey didn't get it did send a request asking for information that we'd already given them three times so I'm just kind of over that as well so in the fact I'm no longer dealing with the flunkies at the office I'm dealing directly with the agent himself not employees um, I think I'll have a better shot. And it sounds like as of right now, he's the only one I talk to from now on. So that's kind of my goal. As long as he stays my point of contact, I'll keep doing business there. If I have to go back to working with George, the buffoon, then like whatever, I'm out. So done, I'm not gonna happen. So went ahead though, um, had a couple other things. Went across the street, got some work done in the house. From there, I headed over to meet the agent. Um, sat down, he said he'd been trying to call me, and he told me, oh, I got such and such voicemail, and I said, you're calling the old number, you need to update the system, that did not happen, I have no calls, and I guess their system is screwing up, so whether they're be able to do it or not, so went ahead, we got it working though, got it going, um, and there for quite a while, we ended up talking and bullshitting, and him and I get along well, we talk about some of the most random shit you could ever imagine, and weird stuff comes up, I point out little things in his office, ask about it, and he's like, you know, five years, nobody's ever asked about a trash can, blah, blah, whatever type thing. And he's got a weird trash can with a weird saying on it that makes no sense. So, but that's about, but anyway, weirdos. But yeah, went ahead, we chatted and stuff, talked about kinds of random stuff. And then I would really have been there for quite a while. Finally got the system working, um, got payment made. I took cash. I couldn't pay cash. I don't own a checkbook, so I can't pay the checkbook. And I was going to run to the bank to buy a bench check. But he went ahead and... It's like they don't take credit card, I guess, with citizens. Somehow they don't take, they take bank transfers and checks. That's it. So no idea. I assume because there's a fee with it involved. I have no idea. Maybe it's less likely to be frauded. I have no idea either. So went ahead though, got it paid, got it all done. Um, he gave me some quotes for like pet insurance and stuff and whatnot. I guess they started writing like medical insurance for pets and no insurance, not crap. Because my theory is just pay your damn bills when the stuff comes in, but he has liability for like the dog walking, dog watching, that kind of thing. So you're gonna look at those quotes and see if it's worth having or not and see what all it covers. That's the big thing there. So as I was leaving, I was like, man, I was there for a really long time. That's ridiculous. So I turned, headed out to go over to Beachside to feed some cats. Have to go over there. And as I went turn left, heading back to the east there, I looked at it, I was like, what? That's weird. There's a lady just hopped out of her vehicle, left in the middle of the road and went running towards the house. My brain didn't put two and two together instantly in the corner and I was like shit I think there's one person on the ground there so through the parking spot real fast jumped out ran back and it took me I don't know probably well it was around the corner of one house and I got there and the lady was there and there was an old lady on the ground unconscious and I was like oh crap her purse was still there though and her shopping bags were there so I don't think it was like a mugging or nothing knocked knock down but you never know if she got shoved down or what the hell happened and I asked the lady if she called 911 yet she goes no and I said hurry up and call them because that's what we gotta be doing she was breathing but unresponsive um never did speak while i was there that woman said she heard her say some stuff but i was there 42 seconds after she got there probably and never heard her say a damn thing but who knows we saw her moving her left hand right foot um 
end up, she, the lady went through her purse, found her ID, found a cell phone. I said, give me the cell phone, I'll find somebody in it. So I started calling, and the first number I hit was said, it was actually I hit the dial, but it's an old flip phone. And the number came up with a name and EMG, which I assume is emergency, instead of ICE in case of emergency. But dialed it up and basically, you know, asked if she knew this person. She said, absolutely. It turned out to be her daughter. Um, told her what was going on. She's like, oh my God. So I told her where it was. She said, that's her, that's her apartment. That's where she lives. So on and so forth. And then by that point, by the time I found the phone and everything and stuff and whatnot, the medics showed up, the fire trucks and whatever. And I passed the phone off to them to get the more information she'd had. A brain tumor and a whole bunch of other issues and stuff. Memory loss, a whole bunch of things going on that they were able to take care of and get the information to help give her better care. No idea. Only reason they were even spotted her is because the lady's young daughter looking around at things pointed out, Mom, there's a lady laying on the ground over there. So I told the girl, I said, hey, because you're looking around and pointing out things and telling people stuff, you probably set lady's life because she probably laid there right by the bushes. Nobody would have seen her. Who knows how long before she would have been found. So definitely was a good thing there. So got that done, headed over to Beachside, got the cats fed and got that all taken care of. From there, I headed back to the, um, headed back to the house, hung out with the dogs and played with them for a while and stuff and whatnot. It's kind of a weird, it felt weird. And then I got home and then I started looking at, I said, I'm going to pull up my Weeble account and check it out because I needed to check it out. And I was like, I got busy and didn't bother pulling it up. So I'm like, oh, oh well, things happen, no big deal. Moved on from it, didn't think about it too much. And then went back across the street to work in the house again. Got a few other things over there done. And oh, it's nice, we got a dead cat there with a buzzer eating what's left of it. So yeah, that's always nice. But yeah, went ahead, got that done. Um, had some other dogs get dropped off, had another dog get picked up. My wife got home from work, had myself a nice little dinner. I did get my run in also, got myself a shower. Ended up back across the street, working on the house a little bit and have myself a good time there as well. So yeah, that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.